In this lesson, we are going to machine the groove in our part. For that, we are going to use the turning groove strategy. Turning groove can be applied to the outside diameter, inside diameter, the face of the part, or any angled face. You can control the cut steps across, the cut steps down, stock amounts, grooving pattern, finishing direction, and the starting position. We know from our previous lesson that the slot width is 0.197. On the turning toolbar, select the turning groove icon. On the tool tab, press select to enter the tool library. In the tool library panel on the left, select the current document, tutorial 6. In the list, in the middle window, select the 0.136 wide groove tool and press select. Under Mode and Direction, you'll find Turning Mode. It is currently set to External. We are not going to change that setting, but you should be aware it's there for ID work. See the tooltip for additional information. We will leave the default speeds and feeds for this tool. Let's go to the Geometry tab. This is where you would select the front to back areas to confine the groove. Set the front mode to Selection. This automatically jumps to the front reference selection. Pick this front edge of the groove. Make sure you pick the edge that goes to the top of the radius. Set the back mode to selection. Again, it jumps to the back reference selection. Pick this back edge of the groove. Let's go to the radii tab. This is where you would select the top to bottom areas to confine the groove. The outer radius represents the outermost position of the groove material. For the From Position pull-down, pick the Selection option. Then pick this cylinder face as the outside of the groove for the outer radius reference. The inner radius represents the deepest position to machine the groove material. Remember, Fusion is not going to violate the model. We are essentially telling Fusion where to look for material to cut. The From position is currently set to Stock ID. We can actually leave that as it is. Fusion will only machine to the maximum depth of the groove. Let's go to the Passes tab. The Passes section of this dialog controls how to apply the finished cuts. The Roughing Passes section controls the steps and types of roughing cuts. Change the Finish Pass step over to Ten thousands. My rough cut maximum groove step over is forty thousands. I'm going to leave it there. Our groove is not very wide. I don't think it will take more than one cut at that amount. If this groove was very deep, I might enable the Use Pecking parameter and take multiple depth cuts. But our groove is not that deep. Check the tooltip for more information about these parameters. We are going to leave the defaults on the linking tab and just press OK to generate the toolpath. And there is our toolpath for the groove. In this lesson, we learned about the turning groove toolpath strategy, selecting a tool from the library, containing the cutting area, and changing the cut step over amount. Press Ctrl S to save the part, Command S on the Mac.